Hey, Eddie here from Dairy City Power Motor. Um, a couple of people have put on, on the Monster website on Facebook about getting the bearings onto the main wheel of a Monster 185. Now, mine's is cracked like everybody else's. It's, you can't really see it proper here, but it's all fractured. If you get a close on that, you can see it's fractured all around. Um, I was lucky enough I detected it before um, a black sake came apart. Uh, and what I've done is just, just what you do is you heat up the inside of the core. Um, don't overheat this too much because you're, you're weakening the metal. That's one of the things. Just don't heat it too much. But if you're heating it up just enough, 40 seconds is about right. And turn it over, the bearing should just drop out. And as you see, the bearing is not going to go on. And if you try to hit that now with a hammer, you'll be banging now to, now to doomsday to get this on. As you can see, uh, so I'm just put the light down there. As you can see, look, it's not going on. It's, it's not going on at all. It doesn't want to go on. And I'm telling you, you could be thumping that. And what you do is you end up wrecking your bearings and everything else. People say about putting this under the freezer, which will help. But I have tried putting it under the freezer and tried putting it back under this one. This, as, as I say, this is the old one. My new one hasn't come yet, but I'm just showing you the video and it can be done very easily. Um, I, I put that in the freezer and I tried it and it wouldn't go on. It went on a wee tiny bit and as again, you do not want to be thumping this with a hammer. And again, you do not want to be heating this up too much. Uh, 40 seconds should be more than enough. I'm using just an ordinary gas cylinder. You get off any wee barbecue for boiling up tea or whatever the case may be and just one of these attachments. You'll get this on eBay for about $8.99, $7.99, depending on where you get it. Um, you just knock it on. Let's say we're going to do 40 seconds and just slightly turn as you're doing it. That's 40 seconds. And hopefully this should go on. Perfect. Straight on. And as you see, she's locked on again now. She's fully down and she's fully locked on. And again, to get it to come out. She should just drop out. Let's check out a wee tap. There you go. Right, it's important to remember before you put this on that you have a wee spring clip at the top. Obviously, you had to remove that to get it out. And if you removed it, you'll see that it's jammed underneath and it doesn't actually come out until the bearing has come out. Um, what you need to do is you need to put the clip on first. And you just clip her over so she goes underneath. And see as it sits like that. You gotta look at that some. It's sitting underneath. Just have it like that. Because when this when you heat this for for 40 seconds and no more than 40 seconds, this will drop straight out. Obviously this is cold again, so it's not gonna drop on. Right, and as I say, you get batteries now to do it, and it's not going to go on. And you can put as much grease or whatever people say put grease on. Heating it is the only way to get this to drop on. So, once it's heated for 40 seconds and you drop us on, if you have the spring around here, she'll drop on perfect. She'll go, she'll seal tight, let it cool down, and then just fit your spring in. If you don't do that and your spring's out and this goes right to fall out, you'll not get your spring on. Okay, so that's, that's just a wee tip, just keep out like that. I hope this helps, because um, people have been asking. So, thanks for watching folks, cheers.